Okay, hi guys. So I thought I'd just show you my book haul from the thrift store really quick because I got a bunch of good ones. For some reason, I think I found a thrift store that, I don't know, like everybody m must just have kids that are outgrowing their books and they all just bring them to this thrift store because I found so many good ones that I'm hoping to use for school and different things and just fun ones too. So I thought I'd just show you a few of them that I got just for fun. So first I got these little eyewitness books. Well, this one's not eyewitness, it's something else, but it's similar. Um, but horses, cleanse related horses, why it loves insects. So I thought these looked fine. And then I got these books for poetry, um, which I just thought would be fun to read to the kids, maybe a poem a day or something like that. Um, I remember memorizing poems really easy when I was a kid, so I thought that looked fun. And then I found just a bunch of just fun, like classic kind of books and just not any ones that aren't even classic, they're just fun to read aloud. Um, picture books and different things, lots of Dr. Seuss. The Giving Tree, which I hear is a horrible book, but I've never, I don't remember reading it. I didn't read it in the store, but it's a classic, so I thought I'd get it and we'd read it, but it might be horrible, in which case I'll give it away again, but it was only a dollar, so I guess that's okay. And I got these. That's kind of cute. Oh, and of course this one's so good. Whenever I find an extra copy of ones that I really like, I pick them up. And I got these. And this little engine that could. And this one's the, um, give a pig a pancake. This is a cute one. And then this book, which was pretty cute too. And then, oh, they also, this one, this one thrift store that I found always seems to have a bunch of Usborne books. Um, so I found a few of those on sale there, which is always a plus. So I will take older versions of Osborne books. That's fine with me. Um, so I got How Deep Is the Sea. This is like a reprint version. I think it's not actually from Osborne, but it'll do. And then I can draw people and the story music. So those just look kind of good. And what else did I get? I got a few chapter books for when Wyatt gets bigger. These just seem like really good boy-friendly chapter books. So I'm trying to collect them here and there. I feel like I read this one when I was a kid and I remember it being exciting and kind of a good mystery. So I think you might enjoy that one. It's a mystery mountain, the call of the wilds, which is like a classic, right? Hopefully it's not horrible because I have never read this one either. And the Hardy Boys, the first one, which I thought was a good little deal there too. And then I just got a couple other ones that were fun, like this is the world of Christopher Robin. I think it has just a bunch of poems and different things, but we're big Winnie the Pooh fans, so we'll always take more of that. And then Ivy and Bean, which I've heard spoken about a lot, so I'm going to read it and screen it and see how it is for the kids. So we'll see if I like it or not. And then this one is just like little values and virtues stories. Once again, I'll see if it's any good. I might post some of these reviews on Goodreads. And then I got a couple like history books too. I got Rush Revere and the Brave Pilgrims. This is a cute series. I actually already have this book, but I picked this one up for my sister because once again, if I find good books that I know I like, I have to pick them up. And then this one is Shh, We're Writing the Constitution. I have not read this one yet either, but I will. And so hopefully it is accurate and good. So I thought that one looked kind of fun though. And then lastly, got a few, just kind of future, more for when the kids are older, but this one is Make It Yourself Science Fair Projects. It's just a kind of good, it's like an older book, but I just thought it might be kind of fun for different um, like experiments or science projects when the kids get bigger for our school. And this one is the Encyclopedia of Origami and Paper Constructor, which just kind of looked fun to me. So I thought that would be fun. And then they had a bunch of workbooks, edition workbooks, so I snagged them because look, I have four children and there are four workbooks. That's very convenient, is it not? So those are the books I picked up. Probably for like a dollar fifty each, it averaged out to be, which is pretty good, I think. Like I said, if I tried to buy all of these on Amazon, even used, it would probably be like $160 because even used, they're like four bucks a piece on Amazon. So. I thought that was a pretty good deal and pretty exciting. Well, except for these, because these were only 25 cents each. So those would have been cheaper probably somewhere else too, but um, who knows how much they are new though. So I just, still, it's a good deal. So that's my little haul, and I guess I will just close this out now.